family of an unarmed 13 year old boy who was shot by a Chicago police officer back in May has now seen videos of that encounter. WGN's Andrea Medina has the latest on this story. On Thursday, the Civilian Office of Police Accountability, COPA, released videos to the family of a 13-year-old boy regarding the night he was shot by a Chicago police officer during a foot pursuit. We're referring to the teen by his initials AG. The incident involving AG happened near Cicero and Chicago Avenues in South Austin on May 18th. In May, the teen's mother spoke at a press conference about a lawsuit filed against the city and the unnamed police officer. They had no reason to shoot my child. He complied with them and all they had to do was grab him. All I want is justice for my baby. This video previously made available to WGN by a source captures the moments leading up to the shooting. Chicago police say the teen jumped out of a stolen Accord officers were pursuing and ran. That vehicle was also allegedly connected to a carjacking and kidnapping that happened a day prior in Oak Park. COPA only released the videos of that night to the family. In a statement, COPA's chief administrator states, while COPA is obligated to adhere to the Juvenile Court Act that prevents the public release of materials under the the city's video release policy. We see this as an opportunity to begin the conversation regarding amendments to this law to allow for increased transparency. The teen's family attorney reviewed the videos of the confrontation through a Freedom of Information Act request. In a statement, the family's attorney writes, Today's video released by the Civilian Office of Police Accountability in response to our FOIA request is a testament to Chief Kirsten and First Deputy Edie's commitment to transparency and integrity. While the videos are difficult to watch, members of our community can see with their own eyes the unjustified shooting of an unarmed 13-year-old boy by a Chicago police officer. Our client was running away, shot in the back, and is now fighting to be able to walk again. The shooting left the teen with serious injuries, including damage to his spinal cord. The family attorney says he was released from the hospital yesterday, but he may not be able to walk again. Reporting at CPD headquarters, I'm Andrea Medina, WGN News.